Welcome to Space Aid Boot Camp. At this station, you will receive an explanation, demonstration, and a practical exercise in military space available travel. Take out a pen and paper, prepare to copy, and hold all questions until the end. Let's get started. As you prepare to show up to mark yourself present and for roll call, there are at least five elements that are going to help shape you for success. First, you need to know when to arrive. Second, show up ready. Third, you and your entire group need to be paying attention to what is happening around you. Fourth, don't wander off. Show up for your roll call. And finally, stay flexible remembering that everything is subject to change. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if there are any in this group, yes, this is the third video in the Space A Boot Camp series, or step three. If you elected to take this video series out of sequence, that may not shape you for success. Understanding this process and understanding that it's a sequential process is what will shape you for success. So at this stage, if you're out of sequence, I'm sending you to the back of the line. Where do you start, you might ask? At step one. So let's do a quick check on learning. Assuming you've seen videos one and two, theoretically, at this point, you've seen step one, which is on research, which gave you all of the tools and information you need to be successful in planning and researching your next Space A adventure. Having viewed this video, you should have all the basic tools to be prepared to start your own research process. I emphasize your own research process because you've got to come up to speed for yourself. The next video, the overachievers in the crowd know is step two, and it was entitled Signing Up. Obviously that video gave you an overview of the alternative ways to successfully sign up for space a travel and look at you sunshine you should just be about ready to go but not quite yet almost but you know what they say almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades and i would add artillery almost counts with artillery as well so you're close to being ready but not ready for space a boot camp graduation yet sit tight so at this stage you should be signed up successfully or know how to sign up successfully you want to take this time frame to double check that you have all of your documents passports with visas customs and immigration requirements can change from time to time so it's a great idea to check in with the passenger terminal personnel to find out if there's been any changes for your destination at this stage in the process you're monitoring the 72-hour flight schedule you may also be monitoring the Patriot Express 30-day schedule, depending on where you're trying to travel. Once you've identified your flight, you head to the passenger terminal and you check in. Checking in is a simple process and that's done at the passenger terminal counter. You're gonna mark yourself and everyone in your party present. Everyone who is required to have a military ID should be present with their military IDs. And at this stage, you should be checked in. You'll want to check any particular requirements that the terminal that you're flying out of might have because there can be some variations on the, your arrival and check-in time. In most cases for AMC, the passenger terminals want you checked in one hour prior to roll call, but that can vary between AMC and Navy terminals. Always check in to find out what the local requirements are for checking in. It's also important that you've already researched the baggage limitations that may exist, specifically with the weight requirements and restrictions. Also, you don't wanna be showing up with any prohibited items. So do your research in advance. Make sure you're showing up prepared because making changes in those last 60 minutes can be very, very difficult. Even worse, they could cause you to miss your flight. Now, between the time that you checked in and the actual roll call, you and your entire group need to be paying attention. There's several reasons for this. Passenger terminal personnel try to stick to the published roll call schedule, but sometimes aircraft personnel or mission requirements can change and that flight's departure time can move up 
It can move up by 30 minutes or it can move up by an hour or more. Bottom line is it's critical that you're there paying attention to what's going on because when that roll call goes down, you don't want to be out wandering around out in front of the passenger terminal outside while they're calling roll call. You don't want to be lounging around the bathroom when they're calling roll call. You might miss your flight. Once you've gotten through roll call successfully and have been selected for your flight, the next step is simply to check your baggage and be prepared to board your flight. And I'm going to cover boarding your flight and flight tips and advice in the next video. If you've had any fun experiences in your Space A adventures as you've gone through roll call while being selected for a flight, please comment down below because we'd love to hear about them. And once again, I appreciate you joining me. If you found this information useful, please hit the like and subscribe button. We'd love to have you join our team.